The Viking Twin Otter Series 400 is at home in more places and in more ways than any other aircraft. As a 19-passenger commuter, search and rescue, cargo-carrying workhorse, or even as an executive transport, the Series 400 fills all roles at low cost, from paved runways, water, ice, or even mud. Extremely reliable and very easy to maintain, the world's leading utility aircraft, Viking Twin Otter Series 400. Versatility that works. Another one of the advantages of the Twin Otter that we talked about is ease of accessibility. Uh, the Twin Otter lower cowling is secured by four of these cow latches. All you do is simply undo the cow latches and the cowling swim swings open for ease of maintenance. It also gives you access to all of the interior components like the inertial separator which is pneumatically actuated. Um, it allows you access to all of the oil cooler ducting. There's a bypass door that opens up in the back of the cowling to allow a debris to pass through. In addition, if you're trying to check the engine to make sure there's no oil leaks or you don't have a problem with the uh, engine wiring or anything like that, it's extremely accessible for the maintenance technicians. And it, um, well, the engine we use in the 400 series Twin Otter is a PT6-34. This engine produces 750 shaft horsepower. The engine is mounted on three engine mounts, one on the inboard side, one on the outboard side, and one on the top. It has your intake air going through the intake section here. This is your compressor section here. This is your combustion section here. And then it has your exhaust coming out this way. This engine has one stage of centrifugal compression and three stages of axle compression here. One of the benefits of the PT6 on the Twin Otter installation is being able to do this hot section inspection in the field. And another one of the benefits of the Dash 34 is because this engine has a higher horsepower rating and the engine is derated, um, your hot section inspections, you should find that all of your hot section components are in very good shape during the, your hot section inspection. The engine has 14 fuel nozzles, 10 primary and 4 secondary fuel nozzles, flow divider and dump valve located at the bottom here. Another advantage of the uh, PT6 installation on the Twin Otter is the ease of access to all of the components on the outside of the engine. Your tack generators are located here, you have your engine drain manifold valves here, compressor section drain valve here. Fire detect probes are located on the fire shield here. Two ignition igniters located on either side of the engine. The top cowling is easily removable by undoing these cowl fasteners here, lifting the cowling up. Primary governors located at the front, overspeed governors located here. You can inspect the fuel nozzles here. Your ignition igniter assemblies are here. Trim thermocouples are on the other side, so it's an extremely user-friendly layout on uh, the Twin Otter engine. Another one of the big benefits of the PT6 uh, installation on the Twin Otter is the uh, accessibility to the components in the back of the engine. You can easily get at things like your firewall shutoff valve, fire bottle located in the back of the nacelle, uh, in addition to your uh, fuel nacelle fuel filter that's located back here. You have your bleed air shutoff valve is located on the forward side of the firewall. Your oil cooler, easy, easy to access in the bottom, easy to clean. As well as being extremely accessible, many of the 400 series com components have been um, updated or modernized and we've replaced things like the fuel flow transducer is now a DC powered fuel flow transducer. Um, we have a DC powered um, oil pressure gauge. Uh, we have a DC powered uh, torque pressure gauge and these components we found are smaller, lighter and in, in addition more reliable to some of the original components that were on the Twin Otter. The uh, left and right hand engine indications are displayed on both the pilot's and the co-pilot's uh, primary flight displays. Engine torque, temperature T5, engine RPM NG, your prop RPM NP, fuel flow in pounds per hour, your oil pressure and PSI, your oil temperature. 